Hello everyone, my name is Clancy's and welcome to the Clancy's. So without further ado, let's get into this video. But before I get into the video, smash the like button for me, guys. Thank you so much for doing that. If you are watching and you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider subscribing because it is good for you and you are not going to be bored at all or regret being part of this awesome community. Anyways, guys, let's get into this video. Another Rosemary Jovo who is responsible for the death of at least six of her family members, including her own children. What is going on in South Africa? The suspect is a 49-year-old woman who was arrested in her posh suburb house in Centurion in Pretoria yesterday. Intelligence operation came stinging at this 49-year-old Rosemary 2.0. The investigations were also done by the insurance company that cannot be mentioned because the suspect has not appeared in court yet. So how all of this came about? Apparently some family members or relatives were suspecting that the person that is responsible for all these deaths in the family may be the suspect or the accused today. And as a result, they went straight to the police and reported it. I'm thinking they saw some patterns that looked very familiar with that of Rosemary Njovu. That is why they were able to go to the police and say, listen, our family members are dropping like flies and we think we know who is responsible for this. And so they went to the police and then this case was picked up by the subs intelligence operation. By the way, the person that is responsible in investigating this particular case is the same investigator that uh, is responsible for Rosemary Glovo being in jail, in prison today. So it turns out that in March 2023, a family member died in mysterious circumstances. So this is the story from what I heard. This particular 49-year-old Rosemary Glovo 2.0 went to, he, to her niece and her husband. The niece is a young lady and the husband is also a young man and she put them under life insurance, each for three million rand. Three million rand for the wife, three million rand for the, uh, for the niece. And then not long after that, he returned because the young lady was not feeling too well and she heard about that she is not feeling too well, so she made some sandwiches. Now, these sandwiches were laced with poison. She goes to Northwest Maba or Mahikeng, I think, in a place called Sigalikeke, which I think it's a fantastic name of a township or village because it's quite funny. Went to Sigalikeke to give this sandwich to her niece to get better. The niece, of course, trusting her aunt, who loves her so much that she puts her under life insurance of 3 million rand. And then this young lady eats the sandwich. Not long after that, she fell ill and died in March 2023. Of course, the husband did not know what killed his young wife. And by the way, she's got children as well. And so they never thought of anything. In July, her son also dies in 2023. And now at this point, the families are saying, no, man. Why does this look familiar? It looks so familiar. We've seen this before. And these are the people who have life insurance on them because this particular lady went to them and said, I'm going to put you under life insurance and your life insurance is 2 million rand. Now, the people that went to lay this complaint at the police, they, were also, they also have life insurance of 2 million rand. They went to the police and said, listen, we suspect this. And so the investigator that actually put Rosemary Glovo behind bars for life took up this matter together with the intelligence operation and they investigated. The first thing that they did, they called the husband of the deceased and said, listen, bro, give us permission to exhume your wife. These are the suspicions. So he has also had his own suspicion, the husband, but he thought, no, nah, man, she would not do something like that, would she? So he gave the permission to the SCPS who exhumed her body and her body was taken to autopsy. And guess what? They found poison in her system, meaning that she was indeed poisoned. 
And how do they know that it's the lady that poisoned her? Because she that that sandwich she ate was the only thing she ate, nothing else. So it's clear that that sandwich was laced with poison. And as a result of that, uh, she got arrested. She got arrested yesterday, the 16th of uh, November, 2023, in Centurion. And she got a payout of 3 million rand. Yet this husband, since March, has been waiting for the insurance company to pay out this 3 million rand of his wife. But that 3 million rand was taken a long time ago by the suspect. How can you be cruel like that? I want to know. So these are the following people that she has killed thus far and got insurance payout. And apparently it's tons of money. The first one is the husband who, in fact, let's start it this way. In 2005, a daughter died mysteriously. Okay. In 2015, two daughters died. Right. In 2016, her husband died. And then in July, no, and then in March, her niece dies. And then in July this year, her son dies. This is when the family was like, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Something ain't right and it smells rosemary and lovu because she took insurance, life insurance on her family members. That is how they were able to put two and two together. Like rosemary and lovu, the suspect attended all the funerals. She moaned the people. She was a busybody making sure that everything, the funerals run smoothly. That makes me think now that a busybody at a funeral, I would want to know why are you so busy? Why are you so busy? What are you guilty? <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you guilty of? Now that she took ins life insurance on both the husband and the wife, killed the, ha the wife in March, killed the son in July, Definitely this man would have been the December bonus. I'm telling you. So the people in her village of, uh, let me read the name. It says, Disaneng, are extremely shocked, angered. The family members, meaning the, the mothers as well as the fathers involved of the, the deceased children are not coping at all with the news that broke out yesterday. So at the time of filming this video, the suspect was still to appear in court. So we don't know what her name is, as well as the insurance company that was investigating this crime. So if you are interested in me following this case, please indicate in the comment section. Let me know if you guys would like me to follow this case and then timelessly report back uh, for what is actually going on. So that we can start our usual commentary on this particular case parallel to that of Senzo Meiwa. And the reason why I feel like I want to do this case is because it has some educational purpose to it, that if you have a family member that has come to you recently or in the past and said, do you want to be under my life insurance? Let, let, let's teach each other what we need to do in a case like that. I'm not saying do not accept a relative when they want to put you under life insurance. Not all of them are Rosemary and Lovu, and not all of them are exactly like this 49-year-old lady. Some are doing it with the good intentions that if anything should happen to you, your children will be well taken care of. Or if something happens to your husband or your wife or whatever the case is, the family will be taken care of. So we need to come up with a strategy as well on how to prevent ourselves and find uh, how to prevent ourselves finding ourselves six feet under because of life insurance. So that is why I feel like following this case is important. The Rosemary Jovu one, I did not follow it, which I kind of like think, uh, okay, now we have a second chance. Let's do this one so that we can be cautious as well as well educated in the subject of life insurance. It's like channel 171 all over again. Well, guys, if you like the video, give it a like. If you didn't like the video, give it a like. Anyways, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much to everybody that's super thanking the channel and supporting it financially. I highly appreciate you guys so very much. Do leave me a comment down below. Please let me know if you are interested in me following this case and uh, let's take the educational uh, route about this case. I highly appreciate 
hearing from you. Do share this video far and wide and also don't forget to like. And when you come across other YouTubers' videos and channels, please do that same thing for them by smashing the like button and subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time in a new video. Goodbye.